Right guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the perfect animal pelts. And there is a lot of depth to the hunting on this game. And if we quickly pause it, in progress, if we go to the compendium, there is 178 different animals on this game. There's also 30 different types of fish. So there's a lot of different ways to go hunting. This is for like land animals like deer, rabbits, stuff like that. And there's a few different weapons you can use to increase the efficiency of getting the perfect pelts because it's not like very, very simple to do. There is a bit of skill involved with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop our horse here. And we are going to make sure that we have our bow with the regular arrows. You can obviously get different types. I don't know what they do. I, I haven't come across different types of arrows yet. And we're going to make sure we have the varmint rifle. I'm going to quickly maintain it because it needs cleaning. But this varmint rifle you can buy from the gunsmith up in Valentine, which is the first town you encounter when you reach chapter 2. And with the varmint rounds, the .22 caliber ones, you can also buy them or you can buy them in the general store I believe as well. They are going to give you a nice clean kill. The best obviously to use is the bow. And what we need to do is not just go hunting, get a clean kill, so shoot an animal in the head and you're going to get a perfect pelt. There's a lot more to it. So this is a white-tailed buck and you have to study each of the animals because if I can get close to it, there's a dead animal back there. Right, I'm going to leave that because it's gone into the camp. We're actually going to hunt a different animal. Providing we can find one. Right, so this is an American pronghorn doe. And you'll see, it doesn't say study, it says show info. That's because we've already studied this species. And you'll see to the left of his name, it's got three stars. So that means his pelt is in perfect condition. And as long as you get a clean kill on it, you're going to get a perfect pelt. So once we've fallen down there, I'm going to go into dead eye. And we're going to shoot it in the head. And then we're going to stand up, put our bow away. We're going to come over. And it should still be a three star. There we go. So it's a three star American pronghorn doe. So if we skin it. And there we go. So we've got a perfect pronghorn hide. And you'll see that when you skin an animal, you take the skin from the body. You don't remove any of the skin off the head. And that's how you get the hide for it, or the pelt. That is why you always want to aim for the head. Use dead eye so that you can get a more accurate shot so it slows down time. And you can readjust if you need to. And we're going to quickly run back to my horse so that I can stow this. And then I will show you another example of finding a free star animal but not getting such a clean kill. And I'll show you how the pelt decreases in quality if you don't get the clean kill. And we'll probably do this one with the varmint rifle. And then after that, I've got something quite cool to show you. Any animal doesn't have to be a rabbit. We just need to find... Oh, here we go. Right, so that's a one star. And you're a two. So the two star... If we shoot him in the bum bum, I don't know if this is going to make a difference. No, he stayed He stayed a two star. But depending where you get the kill shot will depend on the quality decrease of the pelt. So make sure you study the animals so that you can look at their info. And if they're three star, that means their pelt is in perfect condition. And that means if you get a clean kill, so a headshot, 
you are going to keep the perfect pelt. So that's the easiest way. Now the thing I said that's quite cool I want to show you is you don't just use weapons to go hunting in this game. You can actually use the lasso. So if we can find an animal, I want to try and find something like the size of a deer. I don't think you can do this with all sized animals, like different sizes. But I know that you can do it with deer and other things that sort of size. Right, there's white tail deer. There's a three star. Nope, we missed. We got it. Right, so we're going to pull the deer towards us. This is a three star as well, which is good. I'm glad we got it. And then we're going to press B, which is nasty, I know, but it's part of the game is hunting. And we're going to kill it. So we've used no weapons, like minus the knife. But you can see that the white-tailed deer has stayed three stars. So we're going to skin it, and we're going to get a perfect pelt. There we go, perfect deer pelt. And with these, you can sell them. Obviously, the better the condition, the more money you're going to get. You can sell them to a butcher in Valentine. There's a couple of butchers, I think there's one in Strawberry. But there is a guy later on when you get down to a town called St. Dennis in Chapter 4 called The Trapper, and you can sell the pelts to him. I don't know if you get more for them selling to him than you do at the butchers. And you can also sell the carcasses and stuff like that. You can also go to Mr. Pearson in the camp and donate the... Once you've got the leather crafting tools, you can donate the pelts so that you can do upgrades to your satchel and stuff. There's provisions, kit, and stuff like that. You can do all sorts of upgrades with Mr. Pearson in your camp. Anything else about this game you want to know, let me know in the comments and I'll do videos for it. That is going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.